So in essence, let's say I make a swap of a whitelisted token, then they will refund you as balancer as part of your gas fee. But let's just do some sample transactions. Crypto slow with more crypto gains. What's going on, guys? So today I'm going to be doing some testing. That is Uniswap versus Balancer. Um, if you haven't already known, Balancer has come up with this new program where they're basically refunding part of your gas fees as Balancer that you can collect weekly. Um, and that would happen on the same day that you collect from your balancer pools on Wednesday-ish around after 5 p.m. Eastern. But the question is, is it really actually beneficial to use balancer to swap on? Now, I'm going to preference this with the fact that balancer is in the works of trying to get a level two solution in place um, to, you know, if you've ever tried to set up a pool on Balancer, it's insane. It can be $500. It could be $1,000. Um, you know, and then if you go to collect your weekly rewards, you're looking at 50 to a hundred bucks, you know, um, to cash out of your Balancer. But the collection contract is, is usually pretty cheap. But in today's um, and I'll leave a link down below to the Balancer program. It was originally slated to run four weeks, and it looks like they put an extension on it, and then they made an allocation. So in essence, let's say I make a swap of a whitelisted token, then they will refund you as Balancer as part of your gas fee. But let's just do some sample transactions. So first we're going to do a USDC on Uniswap to WBTC. So we hit Swap. We're going to go fast, so $93, okay? We go over here, USDC, WBTC. It was 93 on uni. Okay, this trade will earn you 1.5 balancer. All right, 170. So if I take 87 away from 170... Um, it's about $90. So that trade is actually kind of a wash. So let's do USDC to ETH. Okay. $77. Okay. Headed over to Balancer. Do the swap. 164 minus 87. So this one is about $74. And it was 77. So you just save like three bucks um, on Balancer. So ultimately, what is my takeaway from this? My takeaway is it seems like Balancer's routing and transaction fees are marked up. Because even with taking the balancer credit back, it's almost a wash or just like completely negligible in most cases. So, um, yeah, they really need to get a V2. So my summary on this is at the moment, there does not seem to be an advantage of using the balancer rebate program versus just going over to uni and making a trade. Now, what I will say is I've noticed there's a lot more liquidity for the actual balancer token itself on balancer, and sometimes you can do better on bigger trades. But anyways, I'll leave a link down to the Medium article. And as always, this is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.